everyone welcome back to the channel it's your girl here Oluwa Bukola on Bake with Oluwa Bukola and today we are going to be making a simple buttercream cake decoration like just something very very simple something easy something anyone can attempt and try at home whether they are a professional baker a professional cake decorator or not this is something you can make for family and friends with ease without having to call on anyone or pyro uh what's it called cake decorating experience okay so okay so like i said it's just to be a simple buttercream cake for the buttercream recipe check the channel how to make buttercream is on the channel and this is my buttercream that i will be using today i i already made this so check the channel you know to get the buttercream recipe the cake board you know something like a flat surface if you don't have a plate board if it's at home if you're making these at home for your children you know just search the the channel look for you know vanilla cake recipe is on the channel red velvet cake carrot cake coconut cake there are lots and lots of recipes on the channel so just search through bake cakes at home these are easy to bake recipes then you get a flat board so in case you don't have a flat board like this you can always get a flat board from any big item store you can also use a platter you can just look for any plate in your you know in your kitchen every woman has this in the kitchen or even men baking is not gender based you know so you can always get a flat surface like this a plate anything it is as long as you're not delivering it to persons you know or you're giving it to family you can also use this you know to give it out to them so what you simply do is the first thing first you want to apply buttercream on your board like you want to apply buttercream on your board so that this serves as a glue when you apply buttercream on your board it serves as a glue for the cake to relax on so there we go this is the very first one let me take this off the camera so you can see what it is i'm doing first one goes in there try to level your cake i won't be using professional knives in this tutorial so that anyone can attempt this at home so i'm using just a regular kitchen knife so just try to go through your cake and this cake has been in the deep freezer for over 10 hours it's not compulsory it's not mandatory for you to uh what's it called it's not mandatory for you to to chill your your cake but this is quite chilled it's still a bit frozen but i'm going to be covering it nevertheless trimming into is an irish cream cake and like i said the cake is frozen i decided to freeze the cake so it's frozen you can see it's still in fact there's ice here there's ice in the middle it's so cold there's still ice in the middle so what i'm just trying to do is i'm trying to level it up even for a beginner i'm not doing anything extra professional i'm just trying to show you the basics so that that way you can you know make those things at home easily you always need to level up the cake a bit even though you're a non-professional watching me you still need to level your cake a bit so when you do that then you sandwich the cake at this point you can add any type of filling if you check the page and there's a filling recipe or something you can add any type of filling at this point you can add nuts you can add candies for kids you can add confettis you know there's nothing you cannot add to it at this point when you're trying to sandwich your cake but i will be using my buttercream frosting because like i said i don't want to complicate anything this is a simple cake decorating you know tutorial so when you make your buttercream and you want to cover your cakes please always endeavor to scoop out a little in a separate bowl so that that way you don't have cake lumps in the in the bowl you've used in creaming your buttercream so i think that's good and the next one that goes on is this and if you notice something i've been doing the the top of the cake is facing up so when you're stacking layers of cake for buttercream ensure even for fondant ensure that the top of the cake the part will, that looks a bit dull is facing up until you get to the last layer so i still want to take this this is also frozen 
it's been in the freezer and it has not thawed completely but it's all good in a regular kitchen knife it simply means that you can do this at home okay same thing layers another layer of buttercream you need to do this like you need 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 to do this i have a stable structure i want to have a stable structure i'm not tilting towards perfection but i want it to be stable because if i want to tilt towards perfection those who are not bakers will not be able to use this video and this is a so like i said i'm not tilting towards perfection i just want to make something anyone at home can make okay then this comes up and you can always rotate your cake and if you notice that the bottom part is now the top for the last layer when you're layering your cakes you know if you're doing four layers five layers six layers let the top always face up but for the last layer the bottom part should face up because we want that perfect flat surface to be able to work on and it also has a way of stabilizing i will be using skewers instead of dewey rods this is a professional dewey rod can you see some goes thicker than this it can be quite thicker and bigger but I won't be using dual rods in this video. I will be using the bamboo skewer. Okay, so I run this through the middle. But if you can get a dual rod, especially if you're delivering this to customers, I advise you use a dual rod because this is safer to use than this. You know, it's thicker. It gives the cake better structure than a skewer. Okay, or well, let me just use it. Let me just use it. So yes. So now this is the point. I need to break up the dual rod. You can get pliers to do this. If you don't have a plier, just simply break it into two. You know, simply break it into two, then take it back down in. And that way you're giving the cake a firm structure in the middle so that when you transport it, it doesn't jiggle and move away. And like, okay, so now we've secured the three layers of cake in there. We are sure it's not going to move around. And then we continue and move on to applying the cake on the buttercream on the cake, sorry. Okay, so there are two things you can do. You can use a spatula to apply your buttercream on the cake. And you can use a piping bag. You just simply fill in the piping bag and you're good. You, you simply fill in the piping bag and you're good with buttercream. Or you use a spatula and you apply. For some persons, they apply their buttercream from top to to sides some persons apply from sides to top it just simply depends on which you're comfortable with so when you use a spatula to apply i'm doing the very first layer which is called a crumb coat to make it easy neat that's why you're using the spatula when i don't use the spatula i don't need to do a crumb coat so when you're using the spatula to apply you know you're taking the buttercream from the bowl with the spatula and you just take it back and forth back and forth back and forth that is the movement you want you know you take it forward back forward back or back forth back forth whichever it is that works for you so like i said when you get the first thing you need to do is if you want to go the easy way instead of using a spatula you get a piping bag you get a drinking glass cup and a drinking cup it does not have to be glass it could be plastic you know then you use a scissors to cut out the tip so that there is a hole you've created a hole then you put it in the cup and you fill your bag this is the easy way to do it especially for beginners for someone who does not cover or decorate cakes this is the easiest way to do it okay so we don't want to overfill our bag we take it we press it down apply a little bit of pressure can you see and that is it then we'll bring the cake back and what you do is you apply pressure and you drag along
at this point you want to begin to scrape your cake so there are different types of uh, scrapers you can use this is a steel scraper it's quite big you know you can use this if you don't have access to this because you are not a professional you can also get this this is a plastic scraper you can also use this this will work perfectly and if you don't have access to that like you are, you are, a, baby, you are a mom and you are home and you just want to cover you know what to decorate you can use this this is also a scraper it's quite small you can use this okay so for this tutorial i will be using this is high enough and i think we can go right at it okay so it depends on where you want to go for the sake of teaching you i want to start from the front so you can see what this looks like you just place this here this way and you go you go right at it and that's my spatula if you don't have a spatula you can always use a spoon you know so i'll just do this do this can you see i feel that do this run it through and fill it run it through and fill it and that is why you also need Okay guys, so it's raining but I just want to go right ahead and continue this tutorial. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be dragging this in from out inward. I hope you got that. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Okay, so we'll go this way. That way. That's way can you see that so you drag out in and not in out so that you can get the beautiful edge and the spatula will work just fine for this part if spatula will work just fine you achieve the same great results and don't forget to always take out the excesses from your scraper So it, it depends on what it is you want to get. If you want to go this way, you just simply apply pressure, take it around, take it around, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back, and up you go. So it just depends on what it is you want to get, you know. You can also decide to give it a little bit of this, you know, a little bit of this, and you do, you go that way again. You know, you apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure, take it, take it, take it, break it up and release. You can decide to give it a little bit of... And 
Let me read it. The first one was quite big. <laughs> okay, so take it up and down. You know, in the middle, you can always get this from any big item store. And there you have it a simple, easy to make buttercream cake. For the recipe, like I said, check the page, it's there on the channel. And please kindly drop your comments. Thank you. Bye.